Hello viewers and welcome to another Drive Club video. This time we're racing in the Icona Volcano, which is uh, we've released recently and I'm racing around Canada here. This is one of my first few goes on Drive Club. I actually recorded this last week, a little bit slower getting it up, but uh, it was a chance to look at some of the replays, different angles, really intense and quick through this section actually. It's very narrow with the weather and everything on the windscreen it looks absolutely fantastic the speed you feel going over the bridge there before hitting the braking now the car will want to slide there and i can't slide the car so in all of my videos of the wheel you're going to see me running the smoothest possible style i can manage if the car does go into a slide it's highly unlikely i'll be able to get it back now i looked into why that could be the case and Generally speaking, it's because the games are primarily developed around using the pad. So on the pad, if you turned in opposite lock, is putting the stick the other way, which on the wheel is all the way to the other side, which essentially you can't do. Physically, it's difficult to manage, and secondly, you'll break your wheel if you do that all too often. So if that ever happens, I'll generally just let the car crash rather than attempt to save it. I'll put in the opposite lock that's natural to me, but if that doesn't save it, so be it. If I let go of the wheel, sometimes the force feedback will help spin the wheel round and I can regain control. But as you can see here, I'm trying to keep it nice and smooth to get past these guys. And then I'll be very mindful under braking. So there was a mindset I had to uh, find when driving this. It's very different to what I've been playing on, say, project cars. So braking a bit too late there into that corner. I'll have to do that a few times to learn it, but either way, I could get the car in, again if I was using the pad I could slide it in there but I don't want to slide the car so I'm being extra careful, better to take a crash. Rain on the windscreen as you can see looks absolutely fantastic, they really have done really well with the wet weather conditions and the way the water flows, absolutely brilliant and it works great in this multicam as well. Uh, replays, I haven't had a chance to look at the replays yet, still something I intend to do. Replays are okay, you know, they're not they're not uh, blowing me away in some respects, but it's nice to have the extra angles there. We've got the general selecting replay camera in the bottom corner. Uh, in future videos, you'll see the track side camera. Very tricky through that section. Again, if you feel the back end start to go up slightly, just slow right down. Don't steer into the corner anymore because the car will slide and I'm trying desperately not to let the car slide. Replay cameras though are nice when it comes to overall scenic viewpoints. They've, they've thought a lot about these sort of wide camera angles where you can see a lot of the scenery. It's really impressive. But I've been enjoying this lots. This is one of several Drive Club videos to come. We've got more in the Enzo Ferrari, more in the Lamborghinis, and there'll be more from me very soon. <laughs> 